Um, we know that cardiovascular fitness is essential for staying healthy throughout life. And before we start talking about specific heart problems in athletes, I just, for those in the audience who might not understand uh, the issues surrounding an athlete's heart, I just, I was wondering if you could define for us or talk a little bit about how an athlete's heart differs from a non-athlete's heart. Right. Well, an athlete's heart is very much like everyone else's heart, except it's better conditioned. Uh, it's the same normal muscle that we all have. But depending on how uh, an athlete conditions himself, the heart adjusts to a various set of circumstances. So, for example, many athletes, uh, you know, condition themselves by running and doing what we call aerobic exercise. And over a period of time, two things happen. Um, your heart rate drops. Um, that's why athletes often have a slower heart rate than, than many of us. And in addition, the heart uh, gets a little bit larger. The cavity gets a little bit larger. You have to remember that the amount of blood the heart pumps in a minute is a function of the rate at which the heart is beating and how much blood the heart pumps with each beat. And in a typical athlete's heart, the heart rate comes down, but to compensate for that, the heart gets a little bit bigger, and with each beat, there's a better or larger amount of blood that's pumped. And you'll find that if someone starts out at baseline and they begin to exercise and condition themselves, that's what will happen. On the other hand, people who condition themselves, let's say, by weightlifting, okay, what we call um, anaerobic uh, exercise, something else happens, and that is the heart tends to hypertrophy or thicken in response to the strain of, you know, uh, pumping the extra weights, and so the heart looks different. And so some athletes will have what's called a hypertrophied heart, which we'll talk about in a minute is somewhat difficult to distinguish from an actual diseased heart, although when you look at an athlete's heart, that's been conditioned by what we call um, anaerobic uh, exercise. The heart muscle is normal. It's just hypertrophy. That means there's just more of it, but it's not a diseased heart. So the whole business of an athlete's heart depends on how the conditioning is done. And many athletes, as you probably know, do both. They do aerobic and anaerobic exercise, so their hearts will both dilate a little bit, the heart muscle will get a little bit thicker, and the hallmark is that their heart rate will drop. 